This is Jose Trujillo, once again, coming to you from my art studio with another one of the uh, artist tips right here, okay? So check it out. This is, this is, uh, this is pretty cool. So <clears throat> what stops us as artists? Many things. I've talked about many things that stop us, uh, and it's not the artwork. It's, it's probably, it's like 10%, no, not even, it's like 3% the artwork and then the rest of it. All the other 97 or 99% is ourselves. And we don't know that. We, 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 we believe it to a certain extent, but we still don't really believe it. So one of the things that happens to us that we need to, we need to uh, be vigilant, right? We need to be vigilant. We need to shine some light on that, create some awareness in our own minds when we confront this, when we, when we encounter this, maybe tell your partner and, you know, to be nice, to be <laughs> not nice, but to be, <laughs> to be cool with it, you know, to be, <laughs> tell you, look, next time you hear me say, what if, stop me. Because those are the words, stop me and just, and just tell me, remember, and this is not to make the other person responsible, but to hold you accountable, to help you, to help you uh, uh, become accountable. Right, because you what what needs to happen is that we need to start becoming accountable for for uh, the direction of our careers and what we want to do as artists. So, one of the things that happens to us often, I've noticed that because again, this is stuff that I, I know about me that's that I've uh, that I've experienced. It's the whole what if, and I see it from other artists all the time. We start talking, and then all of a sudden, it's like, well, what if what if the painting doesn't dry soon enough? What if someone buys a painting here and then I have an exhibit and then they buy it over there too? Well, you're in luck if you sell it in both places, you know? You're going to have to break the bad news to someone. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? These this, this things that stop us because we want everything perfect. So what if, what if, what if I start painting and that's not really what I want to do? What I really want to do is it's express myself in different mediums and blah, blah. So I don't just want to, I don't want to stick with painting, but you don't want to stick with anything. So you don't get started. So nothing really happens ever because this what if keeps haunting you. Uh, what if I, what if I don't like that palette? You know, well, don't marry to it. Just buy the colors, use them. And if you don't like them, you know, then, then, then buy other colors. Well, I don't want to make the, I don't want to ex ex spend the money and the effort. And what if I don't like it? And all of these, this, this is a really excuses. But, but what we don't, we, we're not very honest with ourselves many times and we just call them what if, right? Well, no, I'm being intelligent. I'm actually being a critical thinker. I'm asking myself, what if, you know, the possibilities. No, wrong, 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 wrong every step of the way. What if needs to be moved? There, that, there, there comes a point, there, that, it does, where we do some sort of critical thinking, you know, but it's instant. It's like that because it's like a plan. Okay, I want to do A, B, and C. How do I get there? Well, I have to do X, you know, things throughout my day or my week. Okay, then after that, it's pure action. But it's very hard for us to understand that intellectually. And, and well, not intellectually, it's very easy, but to move it. Uh, to, to, to a physical manifestation because we're so used to understanding, try to understand things first. And as I mentioned in other videos, it's very difficult to, to, uh, to transition that because it's not of the mind, it's, it's physical now. Now you have to hustle it. Now you have to go and knock on a door, call someone, talk to someone, maybe close your studio and paint for three hours uninterrupted. Or I don't know what you have to do, but, but, uh, but the whole idea of what if keeps killing it because we, 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 want, we want the condition to be right. And we won't move many times because we, because we keep putting all, this, all these hurdles, you know, all these things. And, 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 they're, and we disguise them. They're disguised. Our mind is very intelligent because it's trying to protect us again, right? So we disguise them as what ifs. I'm doing critical thinking. Well, what if that gallery is not for me? Well, shit, who knows? Who cares? Go find out. Exhibit there for a month. And then if it's not for you, it's not for you. But go, go get the exhibit first. What if I don't, you know, what if, what if they don't answer me when I call them? Or what if they're rude? What if they say no? And all of these things, we really need to move beyond that in order to go to the next level. I'll leave you with that. Next time you, you, you catch yourself saying, uh, what if? Uh, ask people that love you, <laughs> that really love you, around you, <laughs> to help you stay accountable and, and hold yourself accountable. We need to hold ourselves accountable first, but also act as a team with the people around us, and especially people that, that believe in you and care about you.
I'm here to share some of my stuff. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.